Hmm. So, in and out, two nights at Bethel Woods, on to the next ones, and, uh, you know, there were signs of it early on right up here in Vultures, but basically down here, Trey just announces John Fishman, the MVP of the night, move over, let John Fishman take over, he finally says, and uh, fire. And we'll start with the encore, probably my favorite part of the night. Most nights, my least favorite part of the night. I am sure there are some people that bailed on this encore. I would have been super bummed. Definitely would have bailed at horse since I live in the morning. And it would have been a bad decision. And, you know, what advantage to couch tour? One thing I caught tonight that if you were there, you probably did not see. You missed. Paige nearly attacked by a moth during Silent in the Morning. And uh, it appears on the screen. And about that time Paige sees it, he moves out of the way. You know, at that point, it probably felt like a dragon flying out of him in his peripheral vision. You know, he's singing the song. He's playing the song. He's a total pro, though, man. Did not miss a beat, you know, other than a slight little movement of his head. Seeing a dragonfly coming at him, turns out, I believe, I believe it, it was just a moth. Looked like a moth. So, Paige here showing that he's a pro. Then we get Mike Gordon's Fuck Your Face, giving him a moment to show off. We get Buffalo Bill, and then Trey mentions that uh, Fishman has gotten some drum solos early on in the night. Gives him another one there, and very nicely done by John Fishman. Then we get into Fire. While it kind of turned into the Trey show, he did say, as I mentioned, let John Fishman take over. And he was still on Fire. And then Trey goes into Star Spangled Banner, as I mentioned the other night. You know, there's times when he just goes with that tone where he sounds a lot like Hendrix. Did a nice job of that, and that really felt impromptu. There's some nights, you know, this improvisation. It's like, oh, come on, man. They knew what they were doing. He's got notes right there on stage. This one felt like it. So, that's that covers the encore. You know, even with the horse inside of the morning, thanks to that moth, you know, this whole thing right here, pretty, pretty, pretty amazing, maybe. I saved my favorite part of the night. You know, Twist really, uh, the jam much different in Twist than I, very up-tempo, trying to build it and build it and just rocking out. Didn't necessarily have that peak that took off, but man, it just really went and went and went from the, you know, really pretty much the whole thing. Got a little confused, though, I gotta say, with Set Your Soul Free. You know, they teased the cross-eyed and painless, and I think there was some Caspian in there, but that jam seemed to go on. And uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know how long Set Your Soul Free was, what was Cross-Eyed, what was Caspian, but all this was actually, uh, while the jamming wasn't, Twist was probably preferred by me. They were, um, you know, there was parts of this, whatever it was, Set Your Soul Free, and maybe that was part of the problem. I didn't know what the hell it was either. And the mid, you know, let's go back here. Caspian is how we started out the second set. And then we get the cross, and it ran eight to ten minutes. Cross-eyed, painless, probably the same thing. We got a little bit of that sound from Trey where it almost had, sounds like a celebration sound in cross-eyed and painless. Not its normal sound either, I guess. Kind of like with Twist down here. So then we got Miss You to really cool it down, which is fine. We'll take Miss You, Joy, songs like that. But we already got fast enough for over you, man. We're going to start getting one per set. I don't know. You know, you got to really bust off a burner if we're going to start getting away with two ballads. But all right, whatever, man. They're going to do whatever they want. So then, uh, where are I? Where are I? I don't know. Somehow I'm going in reverse. And then, I don't know. We'll, we'll just go back over here. Can, can we just start an evening song? Why would we bother? Let's get past evening song and turtle in the clouds. Like I said, Fishman, this is right here is where you saw the early signs, was in Vultures. He refused to acknowledge the woos. You could even hear him on the webcast. People were wanting to woo. I mean, as soon as they heard the opening notes to Vultures, they were getting giddy. Giddy with excitement, chomping at the bit, if you will, to uh, woo. And Fishman was like, no, just powering through it, man. Just slam and hitting the drum harder each time. I thought there was going to be a snare drum replacement, possibly. But no, so he powers through the woos. I think Trey really was tickled by that. Although Trey a lot of times encourages woos. I think he likes it when his little buddy back there is like, uh-uh, Trey, I'm being insubordinate, sir. Then we get a My Sweet one. Then we get the Undermine, the jam after the jam. The Undermine, normally a solid, this will be an indicator. Like, this is one they pretty much nail in the first set every time. And while, the you know, the first part of the jam, eh, the, eh, the peak was a little rough, you know. They kind of went up and down. They maybe hit a block or a little base camp and go around that. But then the jam after the jam was moved, was probably put, put Undermine right there. And then, Fast Enough For You, as mentioned, Divided Sky. The pause clocked in at, I believe, a minute and 26 seconds. Minute and 26.6. .6. And then here, look, I have my Trey Anastasio moment. Total flub. Divided size, I think. I spelled Sky S-Y-S. -S. I totally I, I farmed it, man. I got to the S-Y, and I was like, what the fuck? I could have saved it, and then I continued with another S, man. I don't know what happened. Maybe I knew Susie was next. And then Ghost ended. They actually ended the strong. Like I've mentioned, man, that's one way I really prefer a set to end. Taking one of the songs like Ghost or Golden Age or Piper or Light or whatever it is and give us a nice jam. It doesn't even have to go type two. 
stay Tipe A1, man. Even like Caspian did for some debate. Mary was saying there was some debate in the chat on YouTube, the freebie. She watches the freebie. She won't join me in, in the room here for the live fish concert. Does the freebies only. All right, guys. So, Fishman, the MVP. Twist, pretty good. Ghost, don't forget about it. Undermine the jam after the jam. Fishman denying the wooers. Love that guy. All right, so that does it. And we got Miss You and Fast Enough for You. I don't know. You, you, you. Yous. Yous. And I, I don't know what happened here. Forgive me. Look, I'm not fish.net. Go there if you want the official shit. All right, fish from the road, probably more appropriate. <clears throat> that damn moth, man. We got some moos and undermine, you know. Denied the woos, and then we got moos. And he went a little crazy with the yes at the end. But look. Boom. I'm going to get out of here. 555.